Happy Pie Day! So today, um, for today's video, we are going to make key lime pie for Pie Day. And, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, with that out of the way... First things first, you're going to need a big bowl like this. And then in your big bowl, you're going to need four egg yolks. And you're going to need four teaspoons of lime zest. It's better if you have key lime, key limes, but we didn't have any key limes, so... I just use regular limes. Now you're gonna take your whisk and you're gonna whisk your two ingredients together. So now that we've whisked our lime zest and our egg yolks together for about two minutes, we are going to add in one can or 14 ounces of condensed milk. And this condensed milk is going into our egg and zest. Now that you have all of your ingredients in your bowl so far, you're gonna take all of them and whisk them together. Here's what your mixture looks like. And now you're going to take a half a cup of lime juice. This is lime juice already in it. And again, key, lime, key limes are better for this recipe, but if you don't have key limes, it's fine. Now I'm gonna add in a drop of really light lime green food coloring just to make it green, because I want to. You really don't have to do this, but I'm going to, so there. Okay, so now that we have our key lime pie mixture sitting and setting in the background, we are going to make our crust. So we're gonna need about 14 graham crackers or two cups of smashed graham crackers. Since my graham crackers are full, like full length, I'm going to take them and put them in a bag and then mash it up. Now that we have all of our graham crackers into the bag, we need to press out the air so that the bag won't pop. And take your um, two cloths and you're going to put them on the, over the graham crackers so you don't break the surface. And, um, normally you'd have a hammer, but I don't know exactly where the hammer is, so you can use a, um, rolling pin. That's what this is called. You need a to crush up the ground crackers as much as possible. So, that's what I'm doing now. Hi, so, okay, we have our graham crackers crumbs into the bowls, and we just melted some butter in the microwave. Now we are going to take our melted butter, which is in here, and pour it into our graham cracker crumbs. And we're gonna mix them together. Now we're gonna take a third cup of brown sugar and put it into our graham cracker mix and then mix that up. I find using my hands is a lot easier than the than the this whisk thing, so I'm just gonna use my hands. Make sure your hands are clean. And now you're going to take your graham cracker crumbs and press it into the bottom of a prepared pie tray. Okay, so I am done with my graham cracker crust. I smoothed it to the edges of the thing and I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and we're gonna put this into the oven for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. <coughs> Now we're gonna clean up the and we are going to leave it on this cooling rack until it cools to room temperature. And then we're gonna fill it with our lime mixture. Now your mixture should be um thicker now that it's set. Our crust is now cooled to room temperature, so we are going to add in our lime mixture. Um this mixture wasn't enough for the pie tin. We should have used a smaller pie tin, but um, we made it work in the end. There's Bentley, oh, oh Bentley. Um, but yeah, here's me just pouring it into the pie tin. And then this is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 17 minutes until the center is jiggly, but it doesn't stick to you when you touch it. So here's what the finished pie looks like from the top and I just spread whipped cream all over it and I'll cut it to it and post, put a picture at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another video. Anyway, daisies, we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.